So we need to allow for light to get through there and so that it can see you and know that you're there and you're coming to use it. So the next uh, stage is kind of tricky, okay? We have to make some decisions, okay? We have to decide how we are going to proceed, okay? How are we gonna proceed? How are we going to make this work? Well, I've made one of these already and I screwed it up. <laughs> so I kind of an, have an idea roughly what I want to do this time. So here we go. The viewfinder needs to, there, I'm sorry, the eye cup from the electronic viewfinder needs to come closer to the eye cup from the F1. So in order to do that, what we need to do is something called scribe. Now. This is pencil. Pencil does not mark on rubber. So how do you do this? How do you make pencil mark on rubber? Well, it's pretty simple. You take the rubber and you cover it with masking tape. You can mark on the masking tape and it will transfer onto the masking tape. And you leave the masking tape on and you cut the rubber. Okay, so what I'm gonna do and this is brave of me to do this because um, I'll ruin it if I screw it up. I'm going to mark the Sony Electronic Viewfinder rubber after I mask it in masking tape and then cut it so that we lose this gap between the rubber just on the other side of my finger, what I want to do is get that close to this plastic around the rim of the eyepiece for the electronic viewfinder. So in order to do that, we're going to need to take some chances. That's what this is all about, taking chances, okay? So I'm going to run and I'm going to grab masking tape I'm gonna put it on here, and then we're gonna go from there. Here we are. Now, I've got the tape around here. I used some artist tape that I had laying around. Um, you can use masking tape, that should work fine. Um, I just thought that this is handy, I just grabbed it, so. Okay, so, now, the really tricky part comes, okay? This requires some skill and patience. Just like carpentry, skill and patience. Okay, so what I need to do is look down from the top and center this puppy just right. Once I get it right, then I wanna secure it. So what I've gotta do now, now, the fun part. Okay, I've gotta determine 
the amount of space between the F1 eye cup and the plastic that I want to get tight to. So if we look at the top of the rubber and the bottom of the plastic here, that's okay from the rubber uh, on the eye cup part, not on the ring that attaches to the, the F1 that we're cutting. Underneath that, we want to be flush to this surface right here. Okay? That surface. So, I'm going to set my simple little tool here to that depth. Okay? And not, not too shallow and not too deep. Just right. Okay? In fact, I want to take a little bit less off, not more. So just a little bit shy, just in case I screw it up, you see. If I screw it up and I don't cut too far, I can fix it. Okay? So now what we need to do is hold this piece tight to where we want it and scribe this piece to that piece. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing right here. So now the most critical cut I'm going to make here is going to be cutting the rubber on the electronic eyepiece. So okay so with the scribe pencil up metal down so here we go you want to be very light light with the touch not too heavy but just right So, if you notice, most of the rubber being cut is right here. So, let's double check this again. Okay, get it centered. Okay, I like that, so I hold it again, lightly. Make sure that my measurements are correct here. Okay, there it is. So there's my cut mark. Scary stuff, huh? All right. So now I need to find something to hold against this so that I can cut it very delicately without you know I need something to to uh, apply pressure onto to cut to so we're gonna go get that
Okay, so one more time. Mark. Okay, now we've got a mark. Now we're just going to take a simple pen and we're going to take that aside. Uh, take my contoured wood very carefully without touching the pencil mark. We are going to Firmly place it on the wood, then very carefully with pen outline what we just did. This way, no matter what happens, we're not going to lose our mark. It's going to be there. Okay? Take your time. No reason to rush.